Hey guys, so we are in New York City today and I'm getting ready to go to Bridal Fashion Week. I've never been, but I got invited to the Haley Page show. I'm super excited. I wore a Haley Page dress on my wedding day and she's kind of kept in contact with me and um, likes my posts and stuff and obviously I love her. So she invited me to her show and so we extended our trip one more night so I could go to her show tonight. So I'm just gonna get ready. I thought you guys might want to get ready with me and go to the show with me. Her designs are beautiful and she just, she seems so cool. You guys have to follow her Instagram. So let's get ready. I just got out of the shower, put some moisturizer on. This one's from Epiance. Next, I'm gonna do a little dry oil spray. This one's from Tom Ford, it's the Soleil Blanc. I just do a little of this. Most is like a body moisturizer and it smells really good and it's really pretty. Okay, so we have makeup and we have brushes. I'm just gonna do something pretty simple, pretty easy. It's just like a 45 minute show and then I'm done for the night, so I don't need to go like too crazy. So for foundation, I'm gonna do my Makeup Forever HD because this photographs really well. It looks really pretty on video and I'm gonna mix it with my Armani Luminous Silk because that gives me like my glow and it makes it look a little bit more natural. So I love mixing these two. So we've been here in New York all week with Eco Tools. So as a lot of you guys know, I'm the brand ambassador for them. So I got to speak on a panel, which was really cool about women's empowerment and stuff. And then the next day we had a um, meetup and a lot of you guys came, there was a line. I got to meet like so many of you. It was crazy and just talk to you all day and take pictures and it was so much fun. So thanks to everyone that came out for the meetup. Um, Michael and I have a vlog channel and we like vlogged the whole trip so I'll leave our vlog channel down below if you want to see and you can see kind of like behind the scenes of our whole week here. Okay for concealer I still really love the Tarte Shape Tape in shade medium. A little bit goes a long way but it's just super full coverage and brightening and mattifying so it doesn't like set into your fine lines or anything so I just really love this concealer. So I've never really filmed a video like Besides like a lookbook or like a travel diary, I've never filmed like a video when we're on a trip. So I thought this would be so fun and just kind of like my normal get ready with me style videos, but like in the hotel room and like actually really getting ready for, you know, for an event with me, which I think is super cool. So I'm excited and I've been to like, you know, the regular fashion week, but I've never been to bridal fashion week. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And um, I know a lot of you guys are brides and you're getting married soon. And so I thought this might just give, give you some inspiration and be fun to watch. And I just love all of her designs, they're so good. And she just seems like such a cool person. She's like very girly. Her wedding looked really beautiful too. Okay, that's good. So now we can set. So I really have been sticking with this Laura Mercier one lately with this brush. It's the Eco Tools Controlled Setting. It's perfect for under the eyes. I really like it. And I almost kind of like reverse contour my nose and I always do this and I never talk about it. So basically I take the powder and I like draw a straight line down the side of my nose. And so I kind of like highlight the sides almost. It sounds weird, but it works. Because for me, if I contour my nose, it almost highlights the bad areas. So this, this for some reason works. So I kind of just like draw the little line on the sides and it really slings my nose. I don't know what it is, but I love doing that. And then I'll kind of brush away the excess. Put a little bit in between my brows and on my Eyelid, I do get kind of shiny there. Next, we're gonna do bronzer. I'm obsessed with this hourglass one. So I used this for a long time and I ran out of it completely. Then I started using the Too Faced one and that one is really good too, but this one, if you wanna splurge on a good bronzer, this one is just so good. And I forgot how good it was. Like, you know when you get, you use something up and you don't buy it again until like a couple months later and you're like, man, I forgot how good this was. This stuff is so good. It just is like a really pretty olive tan. It's just, it's just gorgeous. You guys need to at least try it out. It's the prettiest color. It's the, the I always forget, Luminous Bronze Light. 
So I put it, kind of, I don't really contour with it, I just, you know, bronze my skin on my forehead. It just has the most gorgeous glow to it. Just makes your skin look great, it lasts all day. So the Too Faced one is pretty similar, but there's just something about this one. I don't know, you guys have to try it. Okay, I'm gonna touch up with a little powder. This one's Makeup Forever. I'm just kind of clean up around the edges of where I put the bronzer so it doesn't look muddy. Okay, and then for blush, this one is so good. I was talking about it on Snapchat the other day. It's from The Balm and it's called Balm Beach. It's like the perfect peachy nude color. I really, really love it. Can you see? I hope the lighting is good in here, but I kind of like the lighting in here. It's like, it makes me look tanner than I am. Okay, and then this is so sad, but I brought my Jouer highlighter in Topaz and it broke on the flight on the way here and that sucked. But I'm still using it. So I'm just gonna be really careful with it because it's broken, but this is so good. And I was like, I'm only gonna bring one highlighter with me because I don't wanna pack that much. So I'm just gonna bring like my favorite one. And then of course it breaks. So I'm just gonna be very careful that like it's really broken. And that usually doesn't happen to me. So that sucked. I think I can fix it though. Even if I can, it's still usable. But do you see how pretty it is? It just gives a really pretty kind of candle light glow. I always do that. <laughs> I don't like any foundation in my eyebrows, but I'm too lazy to grab a towel or a tissue, so I just kind of like lick my finger and wipe through them. That's gross, but it works. So I just keep my brows really simple. They actually need to be waxed or teased pretty bad right now, but I just fill them in with the Benefit Goof Proof, and it really is goof proof. Like it's so easy. So I just kind of fill in underneath there. And that's pretty much all I do is just the underneath. That's kind of my sparse area. And for eyes, we're gonna keep it really simple. I brought this palette with me also from Jouer. It's the Essential Matte and Shimmer. And this is just a great everyday palette for nighttime, daytime, smoky look, natural look. So all I'm gonna do is take this color right here, this like matte medium brown, and do a little through my crease. And a little underneath. So this winged liner is really good. It's from Tarte, it's called Man Eater. It kind of reminds me of the Stila one. Um, I can't tell really any difference actually between them. I like both a lot. Okay, I gotta brush my teeth before I put my lipstick on. Pretty sure you guys all know how to do that. I always make sure all the foundation and concealer is off my lips because kind of helps define them a little bit. And then my lipstick's my purse, let me grab that. So if you guys watch our vlogs, you saw that my lip liner fell in the toilet yesterday, so I had to throw that out. But luckily I brought a couple. So I'm gonna use this one today for Makeup Forever number 22. It's a little bit more pink than I want, but it'll be fine. And then this lipstick is the best. So I showed it in my Get Ready With Me a couple weeks ago. It's the Bobbi Brown Liquid Lip in shade Honey Bear, it is so good. It is the only lipstick I've worn since that day. And it's been like already a week and a half since then. By the time this video goes up, I'm still gonna be wearing it every day. It's just like the perfect color and it lasts all day long. I can wear this from like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and it looks great. I just love it. A lot more than I expected to like it. I wasn't, I didn't have like any high hopes or anything for it. And then I was like, whoa. I love it, new favorite. Okay, so I put it on and then I use a little lip brush to blend in the liner with the lipstick since the liner's a little dark. Makeup is done, the last thing I always do is apply my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This is the best setting spray ever. I have a little travel one. And then my hair is, you know, it's fine. I'm not probably gonna do too much to it. I'll just brush it out and tease the back a little bit real quick. Dry shampoo. I washed my hair Tuesday night before we came and it's now Friday. So it still looks pretty good. I've just been using this Tarte Dry Shampoo and then I kind of switch up my parts. The first day I wore it to the side and then kind of like to the middle. 
and then that switches it up so it never looks like greasy, and then the volume stays too. So I'll just tease a little bit. This brush is really good, it's from Eco Tools. I use it to dry my hair, but then I use it just, you know, for everything else too. step is a little bit of my perfume so I did the oil and then this perfume on top it kind of helps if you layer it it helps it last longer I like it. okay time to get dressed and I will show you guys my outfit and then head to the show just a little bit of behind the scenes action you guys have been sitting on that towel in the shower for the past 20 minutes while I filmed and now I'm steaming my dress while it's hanging from the mirror and the steamers getting ready on the toilet. That's how we really get ready for bridal fashion. It's been a couple hours now and I'm back in my hotel room, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Links to everything that I'm wearing will be down below. I think this dress would be perfect for a rehearsal dinner or a bridal shower or just any, if like you're, if you're a bride, any luncheon or anything, or if you're not a bride, cause I'm not and I'm still wearing white. I love it. So if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. That was so much fun. I was so thankful to be able to go and I hope I can go every year cause it was just like incredible. You guys probably loved the clips. The dresses were beautiful and I was just like amazed the whole time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye.